Hi everyone, it's Lucy and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about diet soda. I bet a lot of you love enjoying a nice cool bubbly drink with your meals or after a long hot day or on any other occasion. And a lot of you probably think, well I know soda is bad for me, but don't worry, I only drink diet soda. You think that you can enjoy all the great benefits of a fizzy drink without ingesting the actual sugar and calories? Well technically it's true, you're not getting any calories, but you're getting actually a lot of bad things from that diet soda. It can even be worse than regular soda. So I'm gonna try and show you why you should stick to your regular glass of coke or even better, a glass of water. So first of all, what is diet soda? I mean, most of you already know this, but diet soda is a fizzy beverage that is made to mimic the taste of actual soda but it doesn't contain any sugar. In order to mimic the sweet taste of soda, it uses artificial sweeteners. And since their sweetening power is much higher than regular sugar, you're able to enjoy your fizzy drink without any calories. Almost every popular drink has a diet or a light version that is marketed to be the healthier version. But is it really? Here are four reasons why diet soda is actually bad for you. First of all, diet soda can make you gain weight. Studies compared people who drink diet soda with people who didn't and it showed that people who didn't had generally lower weights. It showed that the more diet soda people drink, the more weight they gained. Now this doesn't establish causality, but it does question whether diet soda can actually prevent weight gain, which is why many people drink it in the first place. Another study showed that both children who drink regular soda and children who drink diet soda had increased BMI and and an increased body weight. So this means that substituting diet soda to regular soda isn't actually the best solution. A reason for this may be that people who drink diet soda think that they're having a free pass on calories and therefore they can eat whatever they want afterwards. Like if you go to McDonald's and order a huge meal, you can kind of make up for it in your mind by telling yourself that you're just having a diet soda and not consuming an extra 300-400 calories. Calories. So if you know that you're not drinking any of your calories, it's easier to indulge in other foods then. Indeed, a study found that people who drink diet soda consumed more calories than people who drink regular soda. And again, if you're interested in all the references of these studies, you can check out my blog article about this subject and you'll find all of my sources there. The second reason why you shouldn't be drinking diet soda is because it's linked to type 2 diabetes. Again, the main problem with this comes from the fact that people equate drinking diet soda to drinking water because they only see it as calories. They're thinking they're not having any calories, it doesn't count. But as you hopefully know, calories don't mean everything. Drinking diet soda can certainly raise some health issues. Even if it's sugar-free, diet soda is associated with type 2 diabetes. Studies show that people who consumed it daily had higher risks of metabolic syndrome and diabetes type 2 diabetes. So usually when you consume sugar, your body secretes insulin to get that sugar into your cells. When you drink diet soda, your taste receptors sense a sugary taste and so you can secrete a little bit of insulin. However, that insulin was secreted for nothing because there isn't any actual sugar in your body. And if this happens often, you could start to become insulin resistant. Now I do want to mention that studies are still divided on this topic and that this could be dependent upon the type of artificial sweetener. Another reason why diet soda is bad for your health is because diet soda is bad for your gut health. So by now you're all probably familiar with the importance of our microbiome and if you're not or if you want to learn more about the subject you can check out the blog article I wrote on that that I will be putting in the description. So your microbiome is basically the good bacteria that lives in your body. It is crucial to your health and deeply impacts your immune system, your digestion, your brain, your heart, and even your weight. However, studies show that consuming 
artificial sweeteners negatively impacts your microbiome. They cause a difference in the composition of the gut microbiome and modify its functions. So studies also show that this could be an explanation as to why diet soda causes weight gain and insulin resistance. The fourth reason why you shouldn't be drinking diet soda is because it is bad for your brain. Your reward system plays a role in modulating how much you eat. A study showed that people who drink diet soda had a different brain activation to sweet taste than people who didn't. The diet soda drinkers brains were more rewarded for tasting the sweet molecule than those who didn't drink diet soda and this stimulated consumption. And also the part of the brain involved in feedback was less stimulated in diet soda drinkers brains. And this region usually tells people to stop consuming sugar after they've had enough. But it being under stimulated meant that diet soda drinkers had to consume more sugar in order to feel the same satisfaction as other people. And another study showed that artificial sweeteners impacted the neural mechanisms involved in their reward process. And I'm not a neuroscientist by any means and I know that the reward system and the brain in general is much more complex than this. But I just wanted to show how consuming diet soda regularly could impact your reward system and make you drink or consume even more sugar in order to satisfy your cravings. So now the question you might be waiting for, should you drink regular soda or diet soda? Well, the answer is it depends. If you have type 1 diabetes, of course that soda is safer because it won't be raising your blood sugar and requiring insulin. If you prefer the taste of diet soda, then you can have it instead of regular soda. But know that it is just as bad for you. And also know that it will not prevent weight gain. Both drinks have their cons and no pros, but they both have their cons. Regular soda will spike your blood sugar levels and give you way too many calories. And diet soda may not give you any sugar or calories, but it does contain potentially harmful artificial sweeteners. Both contain no nutritional value and bad chemicals, but they are good for the soul, I guess. And sometimes, it's important to indulge to have a nice fresh drink of soda if that's what you really want. Of course the best thing to do would be to drink sparkling water and you can maybe add like a raspberry or a cucumber or some different fruits in order to give it a delicious taste. So to sum up, is diet soda really bad for you? Yes. But so is regular soda. The difference is that most people know that regular soda is bad for them already but they don't really know that about diet soda. They don't really think it's as bad. And for everyone, it's easier to indulge if you know that you're not getting any calories. This shows that people focus on what matters less, calories, instead of focusing on what matters most, health. So I encourage everyone to stop obsessively focusing on calories and to start seeing the bigger picture and start focusing on their health. Another thing that I just want to point out is that often heavy soda drinkers and heavy diet soda drinkers are people who are generally pretty inactive and who don't eat very healthily. So this could be the reason why we are linking soda and diet soda to health problems. But that doesn't mean that diet soda or soda will end up being good for you anyway. So it's fine to have soda or diet soda on an occasional basis, but on a regular day-to-day -day basis, water is the only good option. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something from it. Again, it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe to see my next videos. I post every Monday and Friday, at least that's what I'm trying to do. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!